Hello and welcome to day four of the One Ball Juggling Challenge. Uh, today's video is going to focus on an entirely new sequence that I'm going to show you now. The sequence looks like this. So, that is today's sequence that you're going to learn. Uh, before I start breaking that whole sequence down, there are two specific moves that we're going to focus on. We're going to get those solid before we put them into the sequence. The first one is this nice boop, elbow bop. So all this is, is you're going to do, from whichever is your best hand, a small throw about the height of your eyes and nose. And then when it's at that height, you bring your elbow underneath it, and you just give it a little tap. This is not about boof, like whacking it anywhere, it's just about giving it a little boop, like this. And it can be nice to catch that downwards. So, this is called a claw catch. So, regular catch, claw catch. Uh, so, after you've given it a bop, boop, you then bring your hand down from on top and grab the ball like this. Cool, so pause now and have a practice of that. And the second uh, trick that we're going to incorporate into the sequence today is a body throw which looks like this, which is called a shoulder throw. And all I'm doing here is a bit, it's a bit like this back cross we did, which is also in the sequence, but instead of coming over my opposite shoulder, the ball is coming over the same shoulder as the hand that's throwing. So I just bring my hand behind me here, and I'm going to pull it up like this, pulling it up over my shoulder and I'm using my fingers a little bit to kind of push it forwards. Arm to pull it up, fingers to push it over. Yeah, so that's quite a tricky body throw so give that, give it a little while for that to start feeling comfortable uh, and then we'll move on to the sequence. So, the sequence starts like this, ball in right hand or left hand if you're left handed. The first thing I'm going to do is let it pull out to the side like this, as if it's been pulled like by a magnet. Zoop. Then I'm going to circle it along the bottom in an arc. And then when I get over there, I'm going to give it an arcy throw back to that side. So it just goes, boom, back. Yeah, so the ball's just doing out, and then a big circle. Once you're here, now it's time for your elbow bop. Boom. And then it's a behind the back throw into the other hand. So those first few moves go. Out, circle, elbow bop, behind the back, up to there. After that, we're going to go, we're going to do one of these ear catches from yesterday. If you don't have the ear catch, that's totally fine. You can just do a behind the head zap from the first day. You're just doing, just doing this, behind your head. Back. Then you bring that round, so you're here, over your shoulder. The next part we're going to do is we're going to put this hand here, and we're going to do this drop that we did before, but we're going, to, we're going to disguise it so it looks like a throw. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a, bit of a, it's a bit of a trick move. I look like I'm going to throw it, but I actually just release it. And you can do this first just looking. You're looking at it. But then the final, for the full effect, you're going to go here. And then as you do it, your eye line goes over here as if you're looking at the invisible football that you never threw. Okay, so up to there, we're going to go from here, out to the side, big circle back, elbow pop, snatch, behind the back, uh, the ear throw, or the zap, round to your shoulder, fake throw. Once you've done the fake throw, this arm that did it comes back over here, zoop, and the move we're going to do now looks like this. Yeah, and that looks complicated, but all I'm really doing is I'm going to throw this ball about my head height. I'm going to come forwards as if I'm going to grab it like a claw. But instead of grabbing it straight away, my arm's just going to do a whole circle before I grab it. So I am just doing this, but I'm grabbing it on my second go round. It looks like this. Arm back, one, two. Yeah. And that catch goes directly into this 
the shoulder flow. So, everything up until there. Out, big circle, elbow pop, behind the back, behind the head, right to the shoulder, fake throw, arm back, catch it on the second thing, shoulder throw. Next part, we're going to do one of these hand stools from day two, I think. Balance it there, you're just balancing it uh, on the back of your hand. And then I'm going to tilt my hand towards myself slightly so that when I turn, the ball is kind of kept in place by this outward force. So if I kept my hand flat, the ball would maybe roll off. So instead, I'm just going to tilt my hand towards myself so that as I turn, it's going to stay on there. Okay, once you've done all the way around, you're going to turn and show me this hand behind your back, arm up to the side, and just a tiny little back. Okay, this is tricksy. Just get your hand uh, at the bottom of your back, bring this hand in a bit closer, and you're just going to pull it, pull your arm up to do a throw about the height of your shoulder, just like that. Okay. Once we've done that, we'll just go to the end now and then go through it again. You bring this arm out and turn to face it. Throw it up, catching both hands together and catching it like this. I'm then going to let it roll down my arms to my elbows, which are together touching my chest. And then as I roll it back down, I'm going to shoot it up like a catapult. Not like a catapult, like something. Down. Yeah. Up. Okay, so from the beginning, we're going to go, arms at the side, ball out, big circle, back to the start, elbow pop, behind the back, catch the other hand, to go, behind the head, that's your ear throw or your zap if you want, onto the shoulder, fake throw, arm back, catch it on the second go pass, Shoulder through. Then onto the back of the hand, big circle, tilted hand, hand behind the back, little pop, turn to face it, two hands to the elbows, launch it up, catch above the head. That is today's sequence. I'm going to do it one more time without talking it or without explaining it. I'm just going to do it through. There we go. So that is today's sequence. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know how it goes. Uh, thank you all very much for taking part and for sharing and all of that stuff. It's great. And I will see you back here tomorrow for day five of the Womble Juggling Challenge. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.